Hello everyone, my name is Gina Andriani and I am the co-owner of The Rock Shop Magazine. We'd like to welcome you to our Rock Shop Dream and the hopes that maybe you can help us make this a reality for all of the up and coming musicians. We would like to start with The Rock Shop Magazine, which our intro edition has just launched a few weeks ago and we're very proud to say that we are in six countries. Uh, we spent a year and a half pounding the pavement and going out to the venues finding the bands, getting to know the bands, getting to know the venues, the promoters, the booking agents, and everything in this industry between Long Island, New York, and New Jersey. Uh, there's a lot of work that needs to be done to help these guys make it in this industry. As we, everybody knows, it's very difficult, very difficult to make it, not like it was back in the 80s. I'm old school, and I'm bringing it back old school. The magazine is an old school thought process. Um, Think Hip Parade a Circus, but for the up-and-coming bands. The cover of every issue will always be an up-and-coming band. Never a national, but inside, we will have our national interviews, our national show reviews. Um, we've been blessed so far to get quite a few, and we are going to be covering the 2013 Rockstar Energy Drink Mayhem Fest coming up this month, as well as the 2013 Sturgis. And we are honored to have been asked to attend and be a sponsor for 2013 Crew Fest in Los Angeles. A little bit about the magazine I'll show you. This is our intro edition. Our layout is very different from everything, anything you've seen. We have black pages, because that's metal, and stories will be of all the up-and-coming bands, as well as nationals, as well as show reviews. Whether you're a tribute band, a cover band, an original band, doesn't matter. Everybody will be in this magazine worldwide. <clears throat> so just to show you a little bit about what the magazine looks like on the inside. This is what we have. We're very grateful. We have a lot of uh, advertisers on board already, and we're always looking for more. And we also have um, a band merch section. This page is like the page we used to have back in the day where we ordered our posters and t-shirts from. Only this, this is for all the bands out there, all the up and coming bands. It gives them a place to not only showcase their band, but sell their merchandise. If they're looking for a band member, looking to sell equipment, buy equipment, that's what the classified for. This whole magazine's thought process is about them, the musicians, and, and making it. <clears throat> I also have a TV show, internet live stream TV show that will be coming back on air. And this was the intro edition. It's small in pages, but the July edition will be a lot bigger, as well as August, September. This is monthly, in print, not online. You cannot find it online. In print, in your mailbox, every month. And along with that, along with whoever is on the front cover, we'll also have a pull-out poster. And yes, we remember those, because I had them all over my walls. And I know that everybody wants that back. Along with the magazine, we have a lot of other things that we're planning. So take a walk with me, and I'll show you what the vision is. This is a building that we have just gotten and we're in the process of building. This here is going to be the magazine headquarters as well as the room that's over there. But until that time comes and I can staff it, we are gonna be doing a lot of networking shows where we'll have bands playing and networking, photographers, videographers, a lot of, a lot of the bands as we know, they are spending a lot of their own money putting professional videos together to get noticed. They're doing what they can. It's not like years ago where the scouts are out looking for them. They gotta kind of find the scouts themselves. <clears throat> so, part of the dream that we have is to build a showcase and have a place where the bands can just come, enjoy themselves, have a good time, and get paid. Because the pay-to-play mentality that seems to plague <clears throat> everywhere um, is not a mentality that I enjoy, nor do I believe in. I understand, but... So here we have, what we, we're starting to create here is my showcase venue. This is going to be for the bands. Um, right now, we have gotten all the equipment. We have been, again, blessed to have gotten a great PA system, which is the PA system that used to be in the downtown in New York City. And uh, so what we're doing here is we're starting to roll out some shows and try to help get some funding to get this building up and running. And we need, we need help at this point. We have put, I'm co-owner, my father is Scott Roy. He is the one that has funded all of this. Even though I am the rocker, he's the finance part of it. And as everybody knows, starting a business is hard. We've been doing this for about a year and a half. We have a great vibe. We've done a lot of legwork, a lot of doors open. 
but at the end of the day, it all takes money. So we're reaching out and doing this uh, pro uh, project um, to try to get some funding to help us get this dream launched and have people on board and let's give it to, let, let's give the music back to the band. We're trying to build a scene. So in here, we want to eventually, what your funding would go to is building a stage for the band. Um, we do have lighting up, but we, we've done what we can thus far to create a place to come and play. Um, all of the shows here is only going to be a $5 donation at the door, and whatever's collected at the door goes straight to the bands. We don't, they, this is not anything that we are looking to make any kind of money on, but we want them to have a great time. We want them to feel like the rock stars they're looking to be. <clears throat> if you follow me even further, beyond this door, it's going to be a little tough to see with lighting, but beyond this door, the building goes further, and this is where we are going to be, our dream is to make the rest of this and build my TV show set, two hourly rehearsal rooms, um, a recording studio, and also we're going to have a small store and be authorized dealer for some companies that, that we've been speaking with, uh, Pictronics being one of them, uh, Diodario being another. Um, we're always looking to get people on board, and this is what we need help in creating. So as you can see, we have all the equipment, we have everything we need, we don't have a stage, but for now it'll do. But what we want is the rock shop dream and we're building this all for the scene, for the music, for all the up and coming bands in the rock genre, rock of all genres, and we're looking out and asking you for help. So if anybody would be interested in being a part of history in the making, I would greatly appreciate you helping us out. And I thank you so much for your time. I hope everyone has a rockin' day.